Um, all right. Um, good afternoon or uh, good morning. So today we're going to be handling Patrick Marseille. Um, I know we've done something related to that before, but what we did earlier was on how to use already modeled um, assay in Aspen Heights database. All right, crude oil assay like um, your Brent crude oil. That's the already existing assay with the countries attached to it. That's what we did earlier. But what if you're given some assay data, all right? You don't really know the type of crude that you have. In the first one we did, we already know the type of crude. But in this case, you don't know the type of crude, but you have um, data. You have assay data, right? You have the distillation data given to you. You have the API gravity and uh, the sulfur content of the crude given to you. So. The question is how do you go about this so as you can see from my screen we have um, it, some data here we have the distillation data this is actually um, volume percent we have volume so we're going to be using this to impute the data manually if you have not gone through the previous video you can actually go back and check um, petroleum C with Aspen Hysis still on this channel so but, um, going forward we're going to be adding manually what we've been given so in this case we're also given the light components right we have uh, methane we have ethane propane down to i pentane so i'm going to be guiding you through on how you can fix this i'll show you another means of importing your assay to the simulation environment so let's go straight to aspen high six simulation environment right okay so let's go i'll have to bring in a new case Sorry about the noise at the background. I hope you can hear me clearly. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll select petroleum assay. Can you see that? That's petroleum assay. Okay. Then we'll come over to new. All right, click on this drop down button. You see import from library. So after this, the next video will be on how to import um, assay from library if you have it in your PC, maybe saved with Excel sheets. All right. Um, I'm also going to be showing you the type of documents you can actually import in this case. So for now, we don't want to import um, from file rather. So we we'll just go with manual entering. So the next one is import from import from file. All right. But in this case, we're going straight to manual entry. So I'll click on manually enter. All right. Now, as you can see, this is the tab that will come up. The as assay component selection so I'll just click on this drop down and select the assay component Celsius um, type so we'll choose the first one okay but it's totally dependent on the project you're working on okay so for this we'll go with um, this the first one assay component Celsius to 850 degrees Celsius all right and I'll click on OK so I haven't done that you'll see new assay um, we have our fluid package here um, which is basis one so automatically once you start this process Hisis will select a fluid package for you and I remember in our previous videos I've already told you that for oil and gas processes especially for the downstream pengrobinsin is mostly used right so at the end we're going to check the fluid package that was chosen so you can either use CPA or pengrobinsin but pengrobinsin is mostly used for, for um, your your downstream right so what we're going to be doing right now is to go straight to now here we have multiple cuts but in this case what we have is just one cut we don't have uh, multiple cuts we'll have a single cut so we're going to select single stream properties can you see that so we don't have multi multi cut properties all right so what we'll do now is we'll start entering what we have here all right so you can just look at this take a screenshot so that you can use it to practice so we'll look at this, we can go back to the simulation environment and start entering the values. Okay, this is your um, your light end. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, now what do we have here? Um, this is this is zero, this is four. So I'm entering the data already. This is nine. Um, nine, 14. Nine, 14, 20. Um, 30, 40, 40, 50, 60, 
Okay, so um, okay. So this is 80. That's the last one. So here we have 60, 70, 76. All right. So just permit me to pause and enter here. All right. So as you can see, um. Yeah, as you can see, this has been entered, right? All right, so this is the data that we have here. Now, notes. Here we have the type of distillation percent that we have, either by mass or by volume. All right, so you have to look at the assay data that is given to you. You must be sure of um, the percentage type, all right? So for this, we're using by volume, and also ensure that you're entering the right values here. Um, this is the resources. If you look at the data that was given to you, here you discover that we have both the resources and the referring height. So what you enter there must be Celsius in this case, right? All we have there for the unit is degree Celsius. So having done that, click on OK. So once we clicked on OK, we'll go straight to Impute Summary. All right. Now we're going to be imputing other values. We have our API gravity and we have our support by weight percent, as you can see here. So we're going to be entering that. Okay. So come back to this area. Now what we have here, our standard ideal, um, standard ideal liquid density. Can you see that? Yeah. So here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this and change to API. I'll double click, come over here, change it to API. Skip, you can see that. Then click on this. Hope you're following me. I'll click on this. All right. So the next is our sulfur by weight percent. Um, what's the value? Um, oh, sorry. The I, the API is what 17. If you look at what I gave to you, the API is 17. I right, also have 17 API. Then the sulfur by weight percent is 2.715. 2.715. Okay, so haven't entered this. The next thing we need to enter is our pure component. So we'll go straight to pure component. Now, if you look at what we have here, we discover we have, that we have from methane to n pentane. But what we have here, we have methane to n butane. So we're going to be adding the rest. So I'll just come to this. You see this plus sign? Click on this. Come over to the component name, and um, you see C five paraffins. Sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. You come over to this place. Select C5 paraffin rather. Uh, C5 paraffin. Yep. So here, C5 paraffin. We have I contain. I'll click on this. So we'll add the second one. We we'll change it to C5 paraffin to. Uh, that's we 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 all right. So this is it. So the next is n pentane, right? Oh, you see, as you can see, we've added everything. So we need to impute the values. But also, remember, you must add the correct basis. So let's go back and check what we have here. As you can see, what we have here is volume percent. So we're going to be changing this basis to what? By volume, all right? It's very important because once you put the wrong values, um, whatever you have will be wrong. Right, your results will be wrong, so it's very, very important that you select the right um, uh, basis for your input. All right, for the methane, we have 0 0.007. Um, okay, 0 0.007. Then for we have um, 0 0.023, 0 0.023, um, propane is 0 0.32. 0 0.32, 0 0.24 here, and um, what we have here is 0 1.75. Down here we have 1.65. Then the last is 2.25. 2.25. Okay, so I haven't entered all the parameters given to us the next thing we need to do is to characterize this input so i'll just click on characterize assay can you see that 
So it's automatically characterized as C for us. So we'll give it time to finish up with the characterization. Great. So now our assay has been characterized. Now let's look at the conventional results. Now if you look at the conventional results, you discover that um, let's look at our paraffin by volume percent. We have about 6.58, approximately 7 percent paraffin by volume. Then the aromatics, let's look at the aromatics. What do we have? That's aromatic by volume is about 84.207 percent. Then you can actually check out the freeze point, the smoke point, the cloud point, the freeze point. Now, from the API, you already know the type of crude that we have, right? This is heavy crude, all right? So, um, you have your RON, uh, you also have your uh, motor octane number, all right? So everything you need, you can get it from here. Now, another thing is you can come to the assay management area and probably check out um, your destination curve. So we'll have the temperature against volume. From here, you'll be able to find out the percentage by volume for each temperature range, right? So you can use all of this to run your analysis um, if this is not what you're interested in, if it is a cut yield you're interested in, then you'll be able to know the the cut percentage of your off gas, your lights heavy after light distillates, and all of that. This is your residue. So for your residue, you have um, approximately uh, approximately 20% of residue here, right? Then that's there so your gas oil you already know and they will also give you the temperature ranges here so this is how to model but the next thing we need to do now is how do we call it up in the simulation environment the last video we did i showed you how to use the feeder to do that but in this case we can actually do that without the feeder so we'll go straight to the simulation environment uh, before we do that let's look at the field package so as you can see let's check the field package which field package was selected Pen Robinson. so automatically Aspen has to select that for you because for your um, downstream majorly um, Pen Robinson is the best property package for downstream modeling or simulation okay so let's go straight to the simulation environment all right now look at this you see this is the assay we just uh, modeled now this is assay one so let's go straight to simulation environment so we're here now what we need to do we need to add a material stream so we'll add this material stream now as you can see if you check the composition you discover that the composition everything here is what nothing is here everything here is zero it's quite empty right so let's go straight to the petroleum assay so we'll go straight to the petroleum assay and select attach let me go back so you see what we're doing now on that worksheet right you have condition properties composition oil and gas and uh, petroleum assay so you just select the petroleum assay then select attach existing so here you click you see this drop down click on it you see the assay that we did we um, handled earlier in the properties environment which is this assay one so we select the assay one um having done that automatically this will attach whatever we did there into uh, assay now look at this you see our methane here is about 0 0.0003 uh, more by uh, percentage by more right that's a more fraction rather so um, if you keep going down you're going to see the other cut points or the cut ranges rather and their various small fractions so it's, it's as simple as this it's actually as simple as this so the next thing you need to do is probably enter your volumetric flow um, if you have it so let's say you're working with probably a, a feed of 5,000 barrel per day um, you have um, a temperature to be let's say uh, 30 for instance and probably pressure 20 30 um, 40 bar okay so as you can see you discover that your feed will be in what in liquid phase so basically that's this how to one of the ways rather to um, characterize your crude assay if, you, if you're giving a crude assay all right this is how to do it the last one the previous one we did was on how to call up um, already existing crude like the branch crude and um, let's say you want to use 
already known crude feedstock. Like um, down here in Nigeria, we have the Okoro, Usan, Kwaibo, and, and the likes. Okay, so that's the only time you can use the previous one we did. But in a case where you're giving a data and you say data to model, this is how to go about it. All right, then I'm going to show you if you're giving the data in an Excel sheet form. Right, which I will show you in the next video how to go about it. So instead of imputing, you can just pull up the file and it will run the characterization for you. All right, thank you for your time. All right, and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel as usual and invite your friends over. There's a lot of content here and more content will be coming your way too. Thank you. Thank you very much.